is Liliana if you're new here and in today's video we are going to be doing something I haven't done on my channel yet which is going to be a clothing haul and like to try on haul so I'm first just going to show you all of the pieces and then later on I'll try it all on and you can see how it all looks. I'm so. shopping at H&M and Forever 21 so I will show you which pieces I got from where and about how much they cost and uh, let me know what you think. Okay so we're going to start with H&M stuff sorry there's like everything everywhere but um, that's, I have the most for them, so I want to start there. So the first thing that we have are these jeans. If you can see them very well, but they're just like regular colored jeans. Um, I got a size four, so they were kind of weird with the sizes. They were like all um, even numbers, like zero, two, four, six, eight. And usually I would be like a three, but these are four and they fit perfectly. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, these jeans were $10, like, and they're really nice and comfortable, and they were really, really cheap, so that was a good win, and then I also had, like, the black ones from H&M as well, and they were also, I got them also in a four, and they were also $10. They're just, like, what is it called? Yeah, skinny high waist ankle length is, like, the style. I will say the blue ones are a little bit more comfortable than the black ones. But I don't really care because my other black jeans are a little small on me, so these ones fit better, so that just makes them comfortable in general, or more comfortable in general. So both of these were a steal for only $10 each, and yeah, H&M. was this like it's like I don't even know like a sweatshirt dress I don't know if you can really see very good but it's like a sweatshirt dress and it kind of like cinches at the waist just a little bit um and it's so comfortable it literally feels like a sweatshirt on the inside like a I don't know it's very soft like I don't know if you can really see but it's just like very soft um and I got it in the size extra small and it was $17.99 from H&M and it was just really cute. They had other colors, um, but I chose black just because I felt like it goes everything. Although I did try to get some more color into my um, wardrobe since I pretty much only have like black, white, and gray. So I wanted to get a couple colorful pieces, but I thought because I don't often wear dresses that it would be good to have more of a staple kind of color for um, this piece. Sorry if I keep looking up, there's a general bee out there and it's really scary. But anyways, um, yes, yeah, so this is kind of just like more of a staple kind of goes with anything kind of dress for when I do want to wear dresses. short looking but it's really really cute like with high-waisted pants and it's just like this floral print and like the sleeves are kind of cuffed here I don't know if you can really see that but it's kind of cuffed um, and it kind of just like hangs on your shoulders cute and I thought it was so so cute and it's kind of colorful right <laughs> um, this was $12.99 and I got it in the size extra small I'm just saying the sizes so that if you are curious like what they look like on or if you're a similar height or whatever to me then you'll kind of know how it looks um, but yeah so extra small on this one and I thought it was adorable and it's just like kind of it's just really comfortable and like just flowy and I thought it'd be kind of cute for summer so was kind of a similar thing. It's another floral print shirt. See that? And you can see the floral print on there. And it also has like a cuffed sleeve here. I don't know if you can really see, but um, the sleeves come down to like about here. Now this shirt is really strange. So they didn't have an extra small the first time I went. They only had extra extra small. And looking at it, it felt like it would, it would work. And it would have worked. However, the like sleeves here even though they look like they're gonna like expand which they do it was really tight so this one does fit but I will say like the sleeves are still a little tight 
the small just looked way too big and I just knew it wasn't gonna fit right. So with, whenever I get shirts like this that are more like loose up top, I always like it to fit a certain way and not just like drip down and fall. So I knew the small or medium or something like that wouldn't work. So the extra small is the best bet, but I would just say beware that this might be a little bit tight. Um, but this is just really cute. It's like kind of, kind of cropped, but it's like a t-shirt, kind of, I don't know, longer t-shirt type of thing. Um, also comfortable and it has a little bit of color in it. <laughs> Um, but it was really cute. And these are like different for me to get. I normally would not get stuff like this, but I was really proud of myself for getting some different kind of stuff, so. Oh, and that shirt was, so I said it was extra small, and it was $17.99, so a little pricier, but I think it'll be worth it to have something that's comfortable but still somewhat dressy at the I don't know. Um, the next thing I got were these shorts. They're really cute. Um, they're like kind of, again, like that. They remind me of like a sweatshirt kind of material and they're just like really soft and comfortable. Um, and I like the color. They're just kind of like this, I don't know, almost like a very soft gray blue kind of color. Um, but this is an extra small, and I'll have to see if I get the tags up on these ones. So I think these shirts were $12.99 based off of the um, receipt. It's kind of hard to tell because they're all just like basics, but this one says Jersey Basics, which makes sense because that's kind of the material. So this one I believe was $12.99 for these shorts, and they are really cute. Um, so yeah, extra small, $12.99. I guess they're kind of like a greenish color, like a greenish, really soft greenish minty color. But they're really comfortable and they fit really great. The next thing from H&M was this um, cropped white tank top. It's like a little bit ribbed and cute. Um, and it's like, again, kind of short, but again, I would wear these with like a high-waisted pants. Um, and then I, I got this one in an extra small and it's $5.99. So that's like a really great price for a little shirt. I thought it was cute. I just felt like you could literally sleep in this. You can go out in this. You can do so many different things with this. And that's kind of the way I like to style my wardrobe is very versatile because I don't go out very often so I don't want to go above and beyond and get things that are specifically only for that but I also because um, then I would just have all these random things I never wear but um, but then I also need things for around the house and just basic day-to-day -day. and I thought like something like this would be perfect so it's really comfortable and really cute And then I 
again, same thing, extra small, $4.99, a white version of those ones. So just like some really basic colors. Again, I love these because I like to sleep in them, I like to clean in them, I like to, you can go out in them, especially with the, if the weather gets really nice like it is today, when for summer, like just shorts or a cardigan, or you can do so much with just a tank top. And when it's cropped, it looks significantly more like you tried than if it's just like a regular tank top. Not that you can't make those look cute, because I like those too, but I think the craft really just gives it a little something extra. Like the ocean, the next thing I got was this yellow um, t-shirt um, from H&M. I got it in a small, because I didn't have an extra small, and it was $9.99. Very cute. Again, it's kind of that rib. It's a lot brighter in person than it looks over the camera. Um, it's like more yellow, looks a lot more pale and pastel y on camera. But um, I got it in the small because I didn't have an extra small and I tried it on and it works. Um, it's not exactly the fit that I wanted or was expecting for this shirt, but I like it a lot and I do think it'd be nice to have something that's a little less cropped, you know, for a different occasion. So, and again, I probably wouldn't wear yellow super, super often. So, it being just comfortable, like I could probably just sleep in this or, you know, lounge in this. So I just think it's really, really cute. So very, very adorable. I got um, a very, I got the same style, but a pink one. And this one's extra small and it was also $9.99. Same exact thing. Um, with the rose material and again, it's a little bit more pink in person than it's showing up But um, this one fits exactly the way I wanted it to and how I think it was made to fit Yeah, so this one was very cute too. Um, I wish they would have had an extra small in the yellow, but it's okay Like I said, it's good to force yourself to not only wear cropped things kind of cropped t-shirt so again this is my version of um color in my wardrobe uh, again it's kind of that like ribbed material really comfortable really like breathable and cute um i got this in extra small and it was 9.99 just like the other shirt so really really cute any final thoughts yes any stuff um, but before I move on to h and I just wanted to mention this because I thought this was kind of cool so I kind of saw this at the register when we were checking out um, it's the H&M guide to fashion recycling kind of little like brochure and it basically was explaining how you can drop off bags of clothes at an H&M recycling spot and they'll give you um, where is it at? they will give you a 15% off coupon off your entire purchase like a coupon for 15% off your entire purchase um, with a maximum of two coupons per day and that's per bag so if you brought in two bags you can get two 15% off coupons which would be 30% off if you bring more bags you'll only get the two but I thought that was really cool so like not only is it like if you're really into recycling and all that kind of stuff like this is great for you but also like if I was just thinking it's another alternative to like just donating because maybe it'll give you the incentive because sometimes like I feel like you declutter your clothes and then you're just like giving them away or and and I give them away and sometimes I feel like they're just not being used you know not a goodwill but to people and you just feel like those are just gonna keep going and keep going and just keep going down the rabbit hole and end up in the garbage or you'll just throw things away because you just feel like no one will want this but I feel like this could be a good incentive with the coupon to like 
you know maybe get you to go through your clothes more often or to try this out i've never tried it but i was like i wanted to take this because i thought it'd be a cool like incentives because sometimes i'm just like Ugh, i don't want to go to goodwill or i just hold on to clothes because i'm just like i don't want to deal with it but this might be a good incentive to get me or to get somebody else to get rid of their clothes and it's a good cause and then you can get a coupon from it as well so I thought that was pretty cool and I just wanted to mention that because I, don't, I didn't know about that so I don't know if everybody else knows about that but yeah I don't know if maybe you can check out the website their website maybe they talk about more stuff there um, but I just thought it was really cool and I just want to mention it because like maybe next time when I'm decluttering I can bring some clothes there and they said they'll take any clothes any condition it doesn't have to be their brand and it doesn't have to be great condition, they'll just take any clothes. Because sometimes with Goodwill, you have really raggedy clothes and you don't want to bring raggedy clothes to Goodwill so you toss them, but maybe you could bring them here. So that's like a cool, I don't know, I just thought it was cool, so I just wanted to mention that. That's everything from H&M, so um, we're gonna move on to the Forever 21 stuff. Um, I don't have as much from Forever 21 as I did from H&M, but we're just gonna go through it. So the first thing I got was this um, Forever 21, just, what is it? Um, it's just like a white plain tank top. This is a little bit longer than the H&M um, ones, um, but it's just like a very simple kind of tank top. These are even better to sleep in because they're a little bit more, because they didn't have extra smalls in a lot of these. Um, Forever 21, for some reason, is really bad with sizing. At least every time I go, it's literally like only medium and larges. I, well, I, you'll find smalls, but you will like never find an extra small. That is like the biggest issue is same with their pants like I never find things that are like smaller than a medium size in like anything it's very hard or you'll just find smalls like I you will really never see extra small like I don't know what that is like I don't know if they just don't order a lot of that or if like people just snatch them up really fast but um this is a small and it was how much was this oh I'm not gonna tell you on the tag oh lord we're gonna have to go scan in here okay these were, so these tank tops were $3.99. So this was $3.99, it's a small, so this would be great for, you know, like I said, lounging or sleeping in. And I just, I thought this, the little um, straps were just a little different, the style, than the other ones. The other ones are pretty straight, like this one. So this one's a little bit more, it's just a little different. So I thought it was cute. Oh, this one has the price on it. Why not that one? That's weird. This one's um, a small $3.99. It's the same exact thing. It's just gray. Very cute. I definitely was looking for some basics here. <laughs> Um, I just thought it was a little something to spice up my lack of color selection. But it's the same thing, $3.99 and it's small. And then I got the exact same thing, small, $3.99, um, just a black version of those. Same tank tops. You can always use a black tank top, at least I feel. I use them so much, so very cute. Deception runs in my veins. I think I prefer the style of the HM ones, but these ones are really cute as well. So then from Forever 21, I already have a few of these exact tank tops. Um, they're like the adjustable ones where you can like adjust it on the back the strap here Which is nice because they don't generally have extra small Although I'm biting my tongue because this one is an extra small But the other ones I have are all smalls because they didn't have any extra smalls So I got very lucky to find one extra small. I literally was the only one 
Um, in fact, in like all the other colors I looked at, I was looking for a black, I was looking for other colors, and I could not find a single other extra small except in a couple of colors that I already had, and then in this one. So this is just another one, another tank top. I love these, like I said, these ones are, these are the other, like they're not cropped and they're great for like tucking into jeans or even like leggings, and it just looks a little bit more dressed up. Um, and I did mention in like my endometriosis video, um, uh, in like my endometriosis kind of haul video where I was showing the stuff I had for my surgery, I did mention how this would probably be a good option um, to just wear because it's so comfortable and just like perfect and you can wear it over and regular or you can tuck it in if that helps you and like it feels nice for you. So I definitely may be wearing one of these or um, one of the craft ones um, for that. So we'll see. But this one was also $3.99. The same price as um, these ones that don't have the adjustable strap. Um, and it's just like this green color and I did get it in an extra small so I felt very lucky for that. Very cute though. I thought the color was cool. I don't have a color that's like this. They're just like the basic simple ones that you would wear and I want to wear more of them because they're just so comfortable and they just look like you dressed up and you tried. Um, if you can tell, I really prefer easy and simple and comfortable even when I'm going out because the worst thing in the world is to go out and you want to have fun but you're just so uncomfortable. Like this happens to me all the time, especially with jeans. I don't know if it's like my skin is just really sensitive. Like I don't have dry skin, I'm very moisturized and I've never had dry skin. Like like that, but for some reason, every time I wear jeans, it just chafes my whole leg and it's so itchy and so uncomfortable and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just from shaving in general because I have to shave my legs so often. I have like really dark, thick Puerto Rican hair, so I have to shave it like so often and I don't know if that's like a, a problem, but whenever I wear jeans, it's just the most uncomfortable thing in the world and it's so frustrating. I swear one day my goal in dream life is to make my own jeans somehow that like can provide the most comfort ever. Like I just want jeans on the inside to be lined with something that is just breathable, but just as soft as can freaking be. Because I, I, that is like the biggest reason why I don't wear jeans. They just are so uncomfortable. I've tried so many different brands. I've tried so many different types and they all do the same things for my legs. I don't know. Let me know if you have that same problem, but we're not talking about jeans. Anyways, we're talking about these two tops. I got this one right here. It's this really cute green color. I really loved it. I thought it was just so adorable. Kind of like spring, but also summery and just like very cute. It's kind of like muted. It's not too like bright and in your face and you can kind of see the material. Um, and the top is like a little bit ruchy. Um, well, so it's bottom. Yeah, the ends are kind of ruchy, but I got this in a small because that's all they had and it was $12.99. Again, I would probably prefer an extra small just for it to fit my torso the way I want it to and also just so it stays up and everything, but it does fit. It's just, you know, the worries if you're out and it's falling down. Um, so small and it was $12.99, so pretty cute. I got was just so adorable and so different for me because I'm not into those like I don't even know what peplum shirts or I don't know what you call them those kind of like they're like and they kind of ruch out at the bottom you'll kind of see what I mean like this like I'm not really into that kind of pom pom me little bottom thing but this was so cute it's just like a nude kind of color it's adorable very very cute and it fits good. It's a small. I probably would have stuck to a small with this one just because of you could tell how short it already is. So, um, and it was, oh, we gotta find it. Oh, this one was also $12.99. So, very, very cute. I thought it was adorable. I could, I just love the color again. I'm just, the nudes, like the simple, but it still just like looks colorful as opposed to a black. So, I like it. I thought it was cute. It's I 
got my fiance actually picked this one out he saw it and was like yep you need that one <laughs> i don't know why he just really liked it it's a bodysuit and it's kind of like a i don't know it's kind of like a nude kind of pinkish nude it's really light color but the material is quite thick and like feels really like well made sorry for the air um but i got this in a small because again that was all they had and it was $14.99. Cute. Um, an extra small probably would have been better just for the purposes of the top being tighter and not kind of loose, but I think with the right bra it could, could work, you know? Um, but it's really cute and the little ties, it has like these little ties up front as you can see. It's very like thick and nice material, so I thought that was really cute and um, small for $14.99. I don't know if I said that, but it's $14.99. I got in a small. shirt that I have so as you can see I got a ton of shirts because that was like the thing I was lacking in the most when I decluttered my closet um, I mostly got rid of shirts because I had so many that were stained and ripped and torn and worn and didn't fit anymore or was just like completely like 10 years old pretty much like prior to right now I would genuinely say 50% or more of my closet was Goodwill stuff which is completely fine but the problem is when you're getting Goodwill stuff, it's already been used and you don't know how many years it has already been used. So once you get it and put a lot of love on that, it's gonna wear down pretty quickly. And that's kind of what happened with so many of those things. So the one thing I will say, if you can find some that I have found that look like they're brand new or they are brand new, leggings at Goodwill. I have found like most of my leggings are from Goodwill and most of the best leggings I've ever owned have been from Goodwill. Now, of course they're like, brands like Athleta or things like that which are great brands but spending five to like eight dollars on those leggings with new with tags or they look so new versus spending the 30 or however much more that they are like I totally go the Goodwill route on leggings I just like you save so much more money and also with how much I wear them I feel almost like I, I can't justify buying 30 to $50 leggings because I know they're gonna get stained. I know they're gonna get torn. I know they're gonna get worn. I'm cleaning in them. I use leggings so much for so many things. Like, but to me, it just doesn't make sense to spend so much on leggings. I know I'm just gonna burn through because I just use them so much. So yeah, most of my wardrobe was Goodwill. Pretty much all my leggings are Goodwill, which I'm so, I'm good with that 100%. But the problem was is I didn't have enough basics anymore or um, just decent pieces that weren't falling apart so that's why I needed these um, that was actually my birthday gift from Ryan was to take me shopping so I felt very very blessed um, to get some very very cute things there's so many bees out there I'm very I'm, I'm like actually um, allergic to the point that I go into the anaphylactic shock so the thought of seeing all those bees it's just like, do you ever feel like they're gonna come in even though you pray they can't? That's how I feel. I feel like they're coming for me. But anyways, um, I'm rambling way off topic. I got this shirt from Forever 21. Again, this is what I was saying with that. This is the style I'm talking about. Like, this is something I would usually never, ever get. Like, I would never gravitate towards a shirt. What is the style? Is it peplum? Why do I think it's the word? Is that what it is? It's this, like, kind of tight on top, loosey pom-pom bottom. Um, and it's just like that nude kind of just really soft kind of color and it's kind of ripped up here and then it has just that like I said that kind of pom pom bottom and it is adjustable straps which is really nice um, I always like that with tank tops because the worst thing is when you get one that fits perfectly everywhere else and then the straps are so loose or they're too tight so this is really cool um, I got this one in a small because that's what I had and it was $12.99. I believe the small fits pretty good. I don't notice you needing an extra small, but
but I always prefer to at least try that first just because, um, well, when you don't have boobs, <laughs> you know, you have to just work with what you got, so, you know, it's pretty cute. that I got. I did wear this one already, so I wore it once. So the tag is off. Let me find the price. Kind of like that pirate like style. Like the sleeves are cuffed. The bottom here has that like little thing where it's like cuffed as well. Um, and then it kind of just like hangs over, which I think is so cute. And the color, again, look at this, I got colors. <laughs> really proud of myself. I thought it was adorable. Um, I got it in a small and it was $14.99. Very cute. I probably would not have gotten this one an extra small. Um, they didn't have an extra small, but if they would have, I probably would have grabbed it, which it would have worked out fine. The only reason why I say maybe wouldn't have is just because sometimes this part will kind of tuck under a lot and then it can get like really tiny and small. And this one doesn't do it as much because it's a little bit bigger on me. Um, but the sleeves and everything, like it's definitely, if it was an extra small, it probably would have fit just a teeny bit better. And same with up here, it probably wouldn't slouch as much or move around as much, but I do like that the midsection doesn't come up super tiny because sometimes those shirts will do that when they're, you know, just if it was an extra small, would have done that. So I thought this was so, so cute. You can kind of see the material. Again, it's not like really ribbed. It's just kind of got a little bit of texture in there. I don't know if you can see it, but I thought this shirt was so, 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 so cute. So got that one there. Now, the last two things I have are just two more pairs of shorts. Um, I was thinking shorts because I find them to be very comfortable around the house, especially to sleep in and things like that. But um, also with summer coming up, like I just want to have some shorts because I really don't have any. And even though these ones are more like comfort shorts, I still think they're cute and like you can make a wearable like outfit out of them. Again, I'm never like going out in a position really where I need like cute fancy shorts or like really dressy shorts. I do have one pair of dressy-ish shorts in case I need them, but generally from going out to something where I need to be like more dressed up, it's either going to be a pair of jeans or a pair of like nicer pants or if I'm really getting out there, maybe a dress, which you really won't see me in many dresses, but I got these pair of shorts, so... These ones I really worked, was excited about because they're basically biker shorts, but they're not like those super long, like obnoxious ones that I can't stand when they're like down to your knees. Like, I do have a couple pairs that I think are cute and everything, but I'm just, I really am not super into that look as much, but these ones the same concept except they just don't go down that far. So yeah, they're just kind of very simple, black. Again, black goes with anything. Extra small, $4.99 is a great deal. I wish they would have had more colors because I would have grabbed more colors, but I thought this was really, really cute and comfortable and a great price. The only difference is I would say the inside of these are not as comfortable as the H&M. I don't know if you can really tell, but they're just more of like a rough material. Kind of right of like a, like a beach towel or something, I don't know. But um, what I thought was really cool about these is I don't know if you can really tell, but they have like this distressed sort of like color here. It's like a gold that's kind of coming out on the like waistband and kind of yeah, and just kind of like a little bit throughout them. And they do have pockets, which is nice. The other ones did as well, the ones from H&M. Um, but I thought they were really cute. These ones are a little bit shorter than the H&M ones, so a little cheeky, but they're really cute and comfortable. And again, pockets are nice. And these ones were an extra small, and they were $17.99, which I feel like is a lot. I always feel like I'm spending more than $15 and something. 
and even then, like more than 10, I feel like it's a lot of money, but especially for like shorts, I feel like I can find shorts for so much cheaper, but I haven't really seen shorts like this, and I thought they were really cute. I don't know if you can really see that distressed kind of color in them, but yeah, they were really cute for Forever 21. Thankfully in the shorts, they had extra small because if they didn't, they would have been falling off the body. talking about them portion of the haul and then I will actually try on all of these items yeah and how they look on because I know like wearing it on is much more helpful than just seeing it thank so. you so much for watching today's video and I hope you enjoyed and if you did give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite piece was that I got um, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video that I upload and I will see you in the next video you don't want to